All right guys, so I'm cold, I'm out in the garage, what's up, what's going on, what's cracking? I'm fucking freezing, so let's just go ahead and get into it. So as you guys saw in the last video, that thing's awesome, yeah, because that's a thing, that happened. Uh, big shout out to my buddy 6'6", Six Six, or Matt, who I bought that shit box from, fuck you buddy. Anyways, <laughs> Matt, I love this car. I always like to give him shit, I'm like, dude, I found this wrong with it, bro. Something's wrong with it, why would you fucking sell me this? Piece of shit, bro. Fuck, piece of shit. Why would you sell me this? You're a piece of shit, bro. I think times he thinks I'm being serious. I just like fucking with him, because he's such a cool guy, but he was nice enough to send me these knee pads, because he knows I'm always on my knees, you know, sucking all the joy out of life, you know, because when you're down praying for the Lord, you need something nice to kneel down on, and this is very nice that uh, he sent me this, so I do appreciate that. He also sent me this little rubber thing. Like, check this out. It's for your tools, so like you put this on your car and it sticks. It's pretty neat. I've never seen it before. My buddy Brandon BB, um, he's used them before too. And then he finally sent me gloves that fit me. He sent me large last time. I'm like, bro, I got big ass hands, so I need XLs. Look at that. Send me some XL gloves, bro. Thank you. Thank you, hook a brother up. Six six his name. Go check him out here. He's always getting like cool supers to sell. So if you guys are looking for a Supra, that's the man you want to hit up. Uh, I'm messing with the brake booster and stuff right now too. I just put the seal on it. So if you have this, I'm not sure if I shared this in the last video or not. Seal number 47275-1220. That's the seal that goes behind there for the brake booster. Um, you're gonna need that. It, I don't know why, but I, yeah, you're gonna just buy it. Just I don't know. I know. I'm really not sure why you need it to be honest, because I'm not sure why that is there an air gap there. I have no idea. I'm not really sure, but yeah, buy it. You need it. Um, and now what I'm doing too is one, I'm screwing up that I only ordered one of these instead of two, because you know fucking idiot um another thing is i ordered this seal now what this seal is i thought i just belch this seal goes for your water neck so this is a seal that you'll need that goes in between here it's just a paper gasket but that's the part number for that uh it's 16 what the hell does that say 16 343 uh that's the gasket for that and another thing i went ahead and did was painted the bolts so those literally are just paint they're not powder coated and I just put them on by hand as tight as I can get, put a wrench on them on one side and just crank down. It always chips a little bit of paint, like you would see just a little nick there, and then it's good. I did it on my car, whatever, four, five, six, 20,000 years ago, I don't know, a long time ago, and it's worked ever since, so it's not really a big problem in my opinion. And then my dumbass ordered this gasket for the intake manifold. I thought it came with two, but it only came with one, which is pissing me off, so it's the top part, so the one that actually goes to the engine itself or actually bolts to the head, I didn't get it. I only got the top piece of the intake manifold. So that's pretty fucking sweet. Good thing I have a stock intake manifold. That would have been completely useless, pretty much like I am. Another thing I have, if anyone needs them or wants to buy them, because I don't need them, it would be nice if I could sell these. They're brand new. I bought uh, the NA gaskets for the exhaust side. So if anyone's looking for the NA gaskets for a, if you have an NAT setup or just have an NA Supra, let me know. Um, I'd rather sell these to somebody than I'm just sit around my house forever. I just wrapped them this because I pulled them out to put them on and found out, uh, yeah, they don't work because I ordered the wrong ones. So now I'm cleaning stuff up after you guys saw the last video there where Tony helped me take, car to car take apart the car, which Tony, thank you very much, buddy. Um, because I never would have done half that stuff. I get really weird about interior stuff. I'm always a, like a huge fear of breaking things and Tony did a really good job. He was like all nervous about, or not, shouldn't say nervous, but he thinks he broke a spot. I don't think he did. I think it's all in his head. I'm just happy that homeboy helped me out because he doesn't have to do that as a friend. So I was pretty freaking happy. Let's get back in here. She's all parked now. That's about as much as I'm going to take it apart for paint. I don't feel like it needs to go anymore. Uh, I just want to be able to get the glass out. One thing you will be able to see is you can see where they welded in the quarter panel on the side. That black strip is part of the quarter panel they welded in. Then you can see some of the spot welds there where they welded everything in. It's not exactly ideal, um, but it's worked. I mean, that, that was done back in the 90s. I mean, right when this car must have been bought, it was done in like whatever, 94, 95, and this car's a 93 and a half. The thing we ripped out were these bad boys. I mean, we'd be bumping some serious music. Wait, I mean, there's nothing. Nothing. Nothing left. Both rear speakers blown. That's how the front speakers were too. Uh, nothing left. This is, uh, this is horrible. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these away because they're not needed. Um, come on. Put that on top of the box here. Put those in the trash because yeah they're not gonna be needed anymore went ahead and pulled them out just to have them out and i'll put brand new like rockford fosgate speakers in it while everything's out and bolt it all up just to replace them while you can uh we did find like it like a little bit of what looks like surface rust in some spots i'm gonna clean this all up scuff it down i'm gonna spray it myself uh clean all the dirt out of here i can 
try to get as much out as I possibly can just so the car is somewhat clean. You can see the stock subwoofer box now, how big it is. It's massive. I'm not sure why that's necessary, especially for that little puny speaker that's back there. If I pull that cut case off, you guys would laugh how small the speaker is. One thing you guys can see too, see those little yellow drains? They're on both sides. Well, here's one too. This drain right here, if it'll focus, that is actually the target top drain that drains down through the body here and out throughout the car. Uh, a lot of people replace these, so I might have to do that too because I have to take the top off yet before we go to paint and pull the seals off. Got to get the glass out too, get the rest of this seal off. I've got this one over here off. Um, i got to pull this seal off on this door. I've got to put the glass down, pull the seal off there. Um, there's a lot more to be done. It's just... A lot of it's just, I, I, I don't like doing this because I just got to remember where everything goes and it's, it's driving me crazy and I'm just really, really, really afraid that I'm going to forget and I don't want to forget. All right guys, so next up what we're going to do here is install these radium engineering press and fittings. Uh, here's the two part numbers you're going to need. This works for both the 2JZ GTE VVTi and non-VVTi. Again, the GTE motor, uh, it works for both of them, the non-VVTi and VVTi. So you need these two right here. So that's the part number you need for the one side. One side smaller than the other. This one's a 13.5 millimeter press fit, and the other side is the 18 millimeter. So this is the bigger one. Um, they do have two different sizes because the holes are slightly different. I have to go down in the basement now. Um, the fittings are in the freezer to make this easier. The instructions say to put them in the freezer and to make them help them shrink up. Obviously metal uh, shrinks and contracts, obviously grows and shrinks. Uh, so it's in the freezer, so it's contracting right now to get it inside just whole uh, to make it as easy as possible. So here's the two fittings, guys. You can see one smaller. This smaller one goes on the uh, exhaust side. The big one goes on the intake side. So I'm gonna put the one back in the freezer. I'm gonna show you guys how to press these in. I'm putting this one back in for now because I'm not ready to use it yet. And I wanna keep it as cold as possible. I was putting them in the deep freezer as my deep freezer gets even colder than up here. So to do this, you just take it and push it in like so, and then get a rubber or soft rubber mallet like this or a socket and a regular hammer and tap on the back of this. I'm using a rubber mallet, but I'm gonna put this down to do this so I don't damage anything. Okay guys, so you can see the first fitting is in. I just hit with the back of that rubber mallet there and now it spins nice and freely. The one nice thing with these versus the other style um, where you can even weld in a regular AN fitting and then you put a 90 off of it, uh, it sticks out much farther. It'll stick out to like here, which is right by your turbo. See how nice and tight this keeps it against the intake manifold, which I really, really like. And I like that it can pivot too if it needs to move a little bit. And with the VVTi, uh, I don't believe, I'm not sure 100%. I'm not sure if the non VVTi, I don't think it has this, but with the VVTi, it has this little 10 millimeter bolt or um, threaded area here. Um, so I'm gonna put like a clamp here to hold the hose so it keeps it away. So I really like nice how nice and tight that is. Now on this side, I need to go ahead and insert one here um, and it should be good. Um, I mean, these aren't even bolted down. I just held it down with my hand. I do have the rubber seal on it and just hit it with this little rubber mallet over here. And they went in pretty darn easy, man. I'm quite impressed. So. These things are cool, so once this warms up, it'll really seat in here and should stay in forever. All right, guys, and the last thing I want to show you here today is how to remove your steering wheel airbag uh, and get off so that you can get to the wiring. My horn stopped working, so let me show you. I want to forget my Dunkin' Donuts here. I'm off today. Ooh, it's so pretty. Uh, yeah, I got to work on my car, so which is kind of a nice change of pace from working on the wife's car. Try to open this up as I do not want to spill my coffee. So what we're doing here today is I've got to take the airbag off of this because fucking horn doesn't work. She doesn't blow like the old wife does. Ha, huh, get it? Anyways, I need to remove the bolts on both sides here and then this pulls out. Um, you're probably gonna think you take the bolts out and you're like, why wouldn't it come out? You have to kind of pry, pry this plastic down a little bit and then it pulls out. Now there is wiring behind it, so don't just yank it out. Uh, it's not attached to this, but I'll show you. There's a wire back here that actually connects and makes this whole ring system work, but I'll show you here. It takes a, believe, well, we'll find out here. Let me grab the uh, metric tool set and it uses these. Uh, 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 these guys here, uh, which is cheap Harbor Freight ones, but they work. It's all that matters. I need more. I need a bigger garage. Don't at me, bro. Don't at me. Uh, I do need a bigger garage because I'm already running out of room. So I believe this goes down here, and I'm not sure what size this. So I got to figure it out for you guys real quick. So you guys can see my little ghetto wire here, which I did years ago. The problem is usually this wire be ripped or something, but it looks to be good. I'm wondering if the horn itself has finally went bad. Uh, so I'm gonna actually pop open the hood here and look down in there and uh, see if the horn itself might have not taken a crap on me. So we'll have to try that here next. Well, I just worked there two seconds ago. Now it's not working again. What the actual 
double hockey sticks fuck is going on uh, but the horn did just work there I think I have the fuse backwards let me double check some but I think I figured it out so me and my friends the other day were stupid and we were checking fuses on the car for something else and I must have not been paying attention when I put the fuses back they put the one fuse from instead of putting here for the horn hazard they put it here and then when I or here I should say so I went to drive it there the other day and went to honk and it didn't work and I'm like fuck the fuse blew well no we just put the fuse in the wrong spot so that's one of the stupid things you do when you rush um, yeah, you live and learn. So that's all done. Now I can put the panel back on over here because I thought I was going to have to take the horn out. But you guys can see that massive powerhouse racing intercooler in there. You can barely see the PHR logo, but the thing is huge. Um, I've been, if you guys have noticed, I've, I've had this engine bay all over TikTok. If you guys aren't on TikTok, you're missing out because it's fun as shit. I don't care if you guys say it's for kids. It is fun as fuck. Um, it is the next Vine or Instagram, where you want to call it. It is fun. The music's funny. It's something I use a lot. So I digress. I need to do a little bit more work and I'm going to be done here for the day. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this one. I've got a couple more things I need to start going back to her car, but the horn works now. I've got all that set up, so that makes me freaking happy. These radium fittings are so sick. I uh, hope that helped guys again if you guys want to check out night run garage it's where you can get them out They got a list on their website uh, if you want to go right to nightrungarage.com or go down and look in the link below uh, You click there and it has both fittings for you And some people are gonna ask uh, which ones are they because radium actually offers both the ones on the website are listed already for the black So you don't have to worry about getting the green ones because they do offer green ones and no one wants those uh, So if you go ahead and click on the link It'll give you the right size because you need an 18 millimeter here and a 13 and a half here They're already listed you just click and go again guys. Thank you very much for tuning in today, and I'll talk to you later. Peace